I have seen what we are capable of, maybe more often than has been good for me. In Ceuta, where fences and watchtowers are built and policemen use violence to prevent people from bringing themselves into safety to Europe. In Hungary, where policemen arrested people because they fled war and persecution. In Slovenia, where policemen used pepper spray against people who fled. In Croatia, where policemen again and again shouted and used violence against refugees. In Greece, where people are hungry, where refugees are stuck because the rich continent of Europe is sealed off. I have seen what we are capable of, maybe more often than has been good for me. In Europe, people vote for politicians who seal off the continent and the consequences are that thousands of people drown in the sea. In Europe, people vote for politicians who make agreements with tyrants who let their soldiers shoot at refugees and their state officials that deport them back to war zones. In Europe, people vote for politicians who deploy armed soldiers and armored vehicles against people who fled from war and persecution. In Europe, people vote for politicians who send policemen to act against people simply for helping others. I have seen what we are capable of, maybe more often than has been good for me. We have been here before. There was a time in recent history where countries sealed off their borders to people who were fleeing. Did we forget the persecution of our Jewish fellow citizens in the 1930s, while the same Jewish citizens were considered to be the problem? Like today, it's not our arms trade, our suffocating free trade treaties, or war and persecution that is seen as a problem. Somehow, the people who are fleeing the results of this are considered to be the problem. After the conference of 1938 in Avion, many fellow Jewish citizens were stuck. I know what happened after that. We said never again, but it seems many people have forgotten about that. Can you tell me something about uh, your journey uh, from Syria to Greece? Okay, uh, I am from Palmyra. This is destroy my city, so we're supposed to go out from Syria. Uh, we we came to Turkey from the last year, maybe yes, and we stayed in Turkey for nine months. We didn't have money to go out, so we're supposed to work to make money to come here cost maybe seven hundred dollars per person in the boat in the sea and uh, we came to Greece we are here for month and ten days maybe we are so tired especially I'm talking about myself I'm so tired I every day I'm losing my energy more <laughs> I feel there is when I came here the first day I I was motivating but now I am losing my energy every day, losing my energy more because it, the border is closed and it seems it's not will be open again. Yes. Um, I don't know what we should do, but uh, now we are waiting. I know it will not be open, but maybe they will find some solution to solve this problem because as you see, it's like a village, <laughs> like a city. People here so tired. Every day you, you see that on their faces. They are become tired every day more. So I think to solve this because if I knew 
that border will be open after three months, that will be okay. I can wait. But the problem is there is no certain date to waiting for it. There is nothing waiting for it. And we can't come back. We lose everything. We have nothing to come back. Even if we want to go to Turkey, we have to start from zero. We have nothing to, to start, to come back. Everyone here lose everything to came. If you could say something to Europeans, what would you say to them? I want to say if maybe they have some reasons to not take us, uh, but they have to consider that even it's hard on them, even they will have some problem because we are there, they must feel us because we are suffering here. It's not easy. This is not game. This is disaster for people. This is not game. They feel us. Maybe it's will. It's hard on them. They must feel us because it's hard. People. Yesterday, two women have a babies without doctors. You can imagine this. We are in 20th century, 21. <laughs> How could that happen? Yeah. Yes. I uh. asked them to help us. In in any way, every person can help. It's not related about big person or government. Everyone can help. And I am thankful for everyone here helping us. Um, maybe make a child smiling. You want a translator? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> This is spread by UNICEF, right? Yes, yes. UNICEF and the Brexit. Food the problem. The Brexit, no problem.